I forgot to film an intro for my tutorial, so I'm doing that now. <laughs> Fuck me. I spent so long doing this tutorial today that I got totally sidetracked at the end and I was so happy that I was finished that I forgot to film the intro, which I planned to do at the very end. So, hi guys! Welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for what, clicking on this video. I worked really, really hard on it. Um, so I'm going to be filming three looks using the Subculture palette, which is so highly talked about. Um, I don't even need to say that. So, I've feel like I've put together three really wearable looks, three um, relatively possible looks with this palette. The first look that I'm going to be doing is um, more of a kind of like a purpley, ready sunset look. The second look that I'm going to be doing is a gold glam look. And the third look that I'm going to be doing is this look. So it's like a peachy winged liner. If you are keen to see how I achieve these looks, please keep on watching. I'm a heart of dust It's been too long, it's all turned to dust Hey guys, this is my first look that I'm going to be doing today. I tried to go for some kind of a sunrise look, but it kind of turned out a little bit different to what um, I envisioned, but I still really like how the look turned out. So to start off with, I'm just going to be taking the shade Dawn, using that as a transition shade. I'm actually using the brush that came with the Subculture palette. I actually do really like the Anastasia brushes that come with the palettes. So I just blend that one out. Um, and then once that's blended, I'm going to grab a mixture of New Wave and Edge. And just trying to get right above the transition shade. Just to add a little bit of gradient. So I blend those out all the way. These shades actually I found blended probably the best out of the whole palette from the ones that I used anyway. Okay, so then I took a, a separate Anastasia brush and I grabbed the shade All Star and started to blend that into my crease. I grabbed a smaller pencil kind of blending brush um, and just kind of inputted that in where I wanted the color and then grabbed a smaller blending brush um, and just blended it out. I did really, really struggle with this color. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to use this one again because as you'll probably see by the end of it, um, it's quite patchy. So yeah, this one took me a while to blend out. I... Like probably out of all the tutorials, this is what took me the longest. So just keep on blending. And then once I've blended into my crease as best as possible, um, I took a little bit more of the colour and just put it in the outer corner of my eye because I'm going to create, be creating like a halo effect. Um, and then I also put it in the inner corner of my eye and then kind of blended those out so there was less of a line as possible. Okay, um, so next up I took the shade Edge and I just placed that on the inside or the middle of my eyelid inside where I put um, All Star. So I had to dip into this one a couple of times to build up to the pigmentation that I wanted to get. But overall I, I kind of like how that one turned out. So I'm grabbing a flat um, packing brush and I just sprayed it with a little bit of um, setting spray. You can use literally anything you've got. Um, and then I dipped into electric. I tried to anyway. I think out of all of the shades in the palette, I hate this one. I definitely won't be using this one again. I wet my brush. I've used, tried to use it dry and 
it just went on really really patchy um and just took a lot to try and get some kind of payoff with it like you can see that um it is showing up but this is after like me giving it a good five minutes of trying to build it up and I did have to dip into or go back onto the other eye because I found that the, the like the shimmeriness of it faded off all right um and I'm going to grab well I grabbed <laughs> new wave um and put that under my lower lash line and blended that out to add a little bit of um pop of color And in the middle, um, or in the center of my eye, corner of my eye, whatever you want to call it, um, I grabbed cube um, and put that in. I actually really like the idea of this shadow, and when I build it up in the, cor the inner corner of my eye, I really love how it looks. But yeah, it's another. It's kind of like electric, where it takes a bit. Um, and just to finish up this look, I grabbed. A um, bit of edge and new wave again, um, and kind of just blended them two together. So to start off this look, I'm using the shade Dawn as my transition shade again. So just like before, blend that one out. Doesn't show up too much, but I swear it's there. Also, what's going on with that smudge on the inner corner of my eye? It really bothered me. Because I did wipe off all my makeup and put shape tape over the top. It's just really random. Anywho, um, just blending Dawn out. So next I took the shade Fudge, sorry about the delay there, um, and just blending that into my crease to deepen, darken it up a little bit, whatever you want to say. And then next, I'm um, not really keeping up very well with this one today, am I? Next I'm taking the shade New Wave and putting that one into my crease. Also, sorry I'm looking away from the camera in this tutorial. It really bugged me when I was editing it. I'm trying my best with these. It's only my first tutorial. Please bear with me. Alrighty, next um, I'm taking fudge again. I'm putting it in the outer corner of my eye. It went on really patchy in this one. The other eye was fine. Don't know what happened here. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I kind of can. So yeah, just putting it on the outer corner of my eye and blending it out as much as possible with a smaller blending brush. Okay, um, and on my lid, although you can't see it, um, I wet my brush with a bit of setting spray again. Oh look, I'm facing the front. Good work, Bianca. Um, and I'm just packing my lid with the shade Adorn. Um, which out of all of the shadows that I use is probably my favorite. I think it's really beautiful and applied as good as any other Anastasia shadow, which I wish the rest of this palette was like. So then I took a little bit more fudge um, to kind of blend it out a little bit. Even the bitch out. I feel like I chose the wrong palette to do my first tutorial on because this looks like I don't know how to do eyeshadow and I swear I do. This palette was just really challenging. Um, but underneath my eye I took New Wave and just blended that one out a little bit. And on the inner corner I didn't actually use uh, this palette. I used um, Forever Lit from the Nicole Guerrero um, Glow Kit.
Okay, so let's just get straight into this last one. I used the shade Dawn and Roxy as my transition shade and blended that out with the big fluffy brush. Put on some tape, don't mind me being a real amateur here. Still blending out Roxy and Dawn. And then I took the shade New Wave and went into my crease. And kind of um, created the wing effect, I guess you could say. Um, and then I went in with edge and packed that on my lid. Eyeshadow on this look is actually really quick and easy. And then on like the center of my lid, I put cube. I thought this would have a way better effect than what it did. It didn't really do much, to be honest. And going in with my wing, I'm actually using the Essence um, eyeliner that I purchased from my Priceline haul. I'm not totally convinced with it, to be honest. I think I'll be sticking with my Kat Von D tattoo liner. Also, I really do suck at eyeliner. Look how bad that looks. <laughs> uh. Anyway, that's all my three looks. Hope so you got even a slight bit out of this other than laughing at how terrible I am.